Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition, practice with me. We're still working in the Rubank elementary method for flute or piccolo, and today we're on lesson 25. Now, I'm going to break this lesson up into twos, since the first section is about triplets, and the next one is about trills, and I want these to be separate, because they're different. They're not like our other stuff where we're just working on just 16th notes or working on just time signatures, whatever. These are two totally different things, so I want them to be two totally separate lessons. All right, so we're just gonna look at the triplet studies today. So, triplets, what are they? They're very similar to the eighth notes, but the way we just count them, or at least in my head, I just say triple it, triple it, triple it. So it's like this. You hear how it's not quite an eighth, nor is it like a sixteenth. It literally is triple it, triple it, triple it. All right, so let's give this a try. So things we're going to take note of is A, our key signature as usual. What is our key signature? It's B flat, which includes two flats, B flat and E flat. What is our time signature? Common time, which is 4-4. Four, four. So we have the triplets, and you can see the triplets because they have the number three above them. So if you look at that first set there, it has the three, that's triplet, and they're all connected. We have some accents, right? And then we have in the next measure, it says simile. That means similar. So we're gonna continue playing those accents even though we don't see them, just because it tells us simile, similar to. And then when you see towards the end of that top part there, we have the, the quarter note with the three dots above it, right? Three is for triplet and then the slash underneath it. So that's just their shorter way of writing triplet. I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I've seen it written like this. So I'm not sure which pieces have music in this, but I guess just in case you come across it, you'll know that it's a triplet. All right, let's give this a try, okay? So exercise one, ready? One, two, three, four. Great, how'd you do? That last measure gets a little more complicated, doesn't it, with the triplets to the eighth notes? That one actually took me a little while to just practice that last measure. All right, let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Still doing okay? Does the triplets make sense? Triple it, triple it, triple it, ta, 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 ta. All right, let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, let's take a look at our exercise number two. So taking a look at our key signature, what is our key signature? It's now the key of F, which just includes the B flat. What about our time signature? Still common time, so still four, four. Great, 
Okay, so this time our triplets change notes throughout. So the tonguing is still going to remain the same. Ta ta ta, ta ta ta, triple it, triple it. But now our notes just change. Okay, so I mean that wasn't all the measures, I was just doing the triplets with the notes. Okay, so let's take this slower just so we can get used to the triple it with different notes. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Great job, how did you do? It takes a little bit more thinking power when the notes change, doesn't it? Especially on this one, just the way it goes. I mean, it sounds very nice. Uh, anyway, all right, let's take it a little bit faster. If you struggled even with that speed, just make sure you pause the video, use your metronome, and then work your way there. Okay, a little faster. Ready? One, two, three. Great job, how'd you do with that speed? Great, once again, if you struggled with it, just repeat it over and over, work on your sections, use your metronome. Let's do this one more time a little bit faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. Make sure you practice this and use your metronome. The metronome really helps. All right, if you have any questions about the triplets, please let me know in the comments. All right, thanks for joining me and until next time.